the older Alexio has a slight height advantage and also will have a slight advantage in reach and will enjoy a significant kicking distance. Our rules for the title fight tonight will include a 10-point must system with three judges scoring at ringside. There is no standing eight count, but the three knockdown rule will be in effect, and the referee is the only man that can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the last round, and fighters must throw a minimum of eight powerful kicks per round. Both fighters are ready as Dennis Alexio battles Dick Kimber for the PKC Heavyweight Championship. For the introductions, here again is our ring announcer, Jean-Paul Chartrand. Mesdames et messieurs, notre deuxième finale de la soirée. PKA Karate, the kick of the 90s, et les productions Victor Terrio sont fiers de vous présenter un combat pour le championnat du monde des poids lourds de la kickboxing de la PKC, prévu pour 12 rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, in our second co-main event of the evening, PKA Karate, the kick of the 90s, and productions Victor Terrio are proud to present the PKC Heavyweight Kickboxing Championship of the World, scheduled for 12 rounds. Les juges pour ce combat sont Fernand Fréchette, Marcel Jodoin et Jeff Smith. Introducing our scoring judges at ringside, Fernand Fréchette, Marcel Jodoin and Jeff Smith. L'arbitre, the referee, is Truman Irving. Tout d'abord, l'aspirant de le coin bleu, il vient de Lynn, au Massachusetts. Mesure 5 pieds, ne pousse et pèse 204 livres. Il montre une fiche de 17 victoires contre une défaite et 16 de ses victoires ont été obtenues par KO. Introducing first the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He is from Lynn, Massachusetts. Stands at 5 feet and 9 inches tall and weighted in at 204 pounds. He has an American kickboxing record of 17 wins, one loss, with 16 of his wins by knockout. He is the champion mondial des lourds légers de la Fédération Internationale de Kickboxing, an organisme basé en France, et classé quatrième aspirant pour le titre des lourds de la PKC. He is the French-based FIBK World Cruiserweight Champion and ranked the number four PKC heavyweight contender. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, accueillons s'il vous plaît, welcome please, Dick the Destroyer, Kimber, Kimber. Et dans le coin rouge, il est originaire de Vacaville en Californie et réside maintenant à Honolulu, Hawaii. Il mesure 5 pieds 11 pouces et pèse 203 livres. Il montre un dossier dans le PK Contact Karate de 56 victoires contre une défaite et un no contest. 51 de ces victoires ont été remportées par KO. And now in the red corner, he is originally from Vacaville, California, now fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii. He stands at 5 feet and 11 inches tall and weighted in at 203 pounds. He has a PKA contact karate record of 56 wins against one loss with one no contest. And 51 of his big wins have come by way of knockout. He is the champion du monde incontesté de la PKA des poids lourds de kickboxing. He is the undisputed PKA heavyweight kickboxing champion of the world. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, je vous présente, I present, Dennis the Terminator, Alexio, Alexio. This is a championship contest, and I expect you to conduct yourselves as champions throughout. As you both know, there's no striking below the waist. There's no kicking below the waist. There's no kicking or striking an individual when he is down, and he is considered down when any part of his body other than his feet touch the canvas. You both understand that. There is no holding allowed. I will give you two warnings and only two warnings. After that, there is a one-point penalty each and every time you hold. Are you both understand that? Gentlemen, I expect you to obey my verbal commands. Go to your corner, insert your mouthpieces, come back, ready to begin the contest. Good luck and good health. Well, the referee that has been here all these years with kickboxing making its great climb to where it is right now, and he's in there with two guys that right now say they will not take prisoners tonight. Well, Kimber's got attitude, but it's going to take more than that. Dennis has three times the number of fights Kimber's had. Do you, that's quite an advantage. do you expect one or the other to, to come out more quickly than the other here? 
No, I think they're both going to come out pretty quick. So again, Grass skirting off. Now fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii. It's the Terminator, Alexio. Kimber again with 18 professional fights, 16 by knockout. Big ground kick that time by Alexio. Gotta say, what do you think of that big fella? The dentist seems to be taunting him. Good right hand, left hand, excuse me, thrown by the southpaw. Kimber, who now switches to the normal right hand stance. He will switch, but likes to fight as a southpaw mostly. Well, right now, Kimber's fighting orthodox. Uh, he came out as a southpaw. Now he has switched back orthodox. In scoring with that left hook while the kicks of Alexio have been scoring. I expected Kimber to come out a little bit harder than this. Uh, I thought he'd be trying to get on the inside. It seems to me Dennis is putting the pressure on. Alexio trying to find some range, and Kimber makes him pay with a couple of shots to the head. Another one. Another one by Kimber. Trying to fight his way to the inside. Trying to neutralize that kicking power of Alexio. If you see him put that left leg that was injured right in Kimber's face. Right, it doesn't seem to be affecting him at all. Kimber would be well advised to work with Alexio's body to try to even things out as far as uh, conditioning. Kimber lunging with punches. Trying to get Alexio in some trouble on the ropes in the closing seconds of round one. They're scheduled for 12. No one expects it to go that far. Kimber is arm punching. Uh, you know, that's going to tire him out. He's using a lot of muscle in there. He seems stiff. Good, good combination by Alexio as he finishes the round. And Alexio taunts Kimber as Alexio goes back to his corner. All right, that was a big round for Dennis. unless he gets it off and he does have it off and now Alexio will fight without fighting pants okay. but he does have a pair of shorts underneath as we open round two well that may infuriate the champion as he goes after Kimber but Dick answers with a couple of shots now Alexio really setting down on punches and kicks Kimber wading in with a couple of punches against the champion he's wading in but th they're arm punches he's Kimber does not get his body or his weight behind his punches He's not going to be able to last long doing this. He's got, if he's got any chance at Dennis Alexio, he's got to go in there right now. Let's go. Kimber at age 32 has been a pro since 1981. Interesting story, his wife didn't want him to concentrate early on his karate career. Now she's very much behind him, and right now it's the champion teeing off on him. And Kimber's down in the second round. It was the body shot to set that up. Body shot by Dennis Alexio, Five. set up the punches that put him down. Seven. Eight. Okay. So. Kimber has burned through a lot of tough times, but probably none tougher than now against Alexio. A side kick by Kimber, a spinning kick by Alexio has even more trouble. And there he goes down for the second time. That kick was blocked, but the sheer force of the kick knocked Kimber down. He caught that luckily with his arm, but the, just the sheer force from Dennis knocked him down. And I believe that was supposedly Dennis's bad leg. It's over. He counted it up. Well, Alexio is the champion as he came here and answered everybody's criticism. And apparently you don't pull on Superman's cape and you apparently don't take off Alexio's skirt. He came infuriated in the second round. Well, you know, I, 
I think the skirt had actually less to do with it than just uh, the experience we spoke of earlier. I mean, uh, when you've got three times as many fights as your opponent, and you've been a champion as long as Dennis Alexio has, uh, th th that's what really makes a difference. It's, it's not necessarily uh, what you're wearing. Alexio, who had all the weapons, gets his 52nd knockout and his 57th win as a pro. 34 years of age, at the peak of his career, fighting out of Honolulu, Hawaii, and he has thrilled this crowd by just literally destroying the destroyer. Alexio, you heard how adamant he was about getting that skirt off, then came out in fury, and he's getting it right back on for the presentation. Right, I'm not really sure if that has some type of a luck feeling for him, or if it's uh, pride in uh, his newfound home, Hawaii, but uh, definitely he had a psychological attitude when he came out that second round. And truly, Alexio has a great punch, but great kicking ability, Don. That's what finally ended Dick Kimber today. He's one of the most versatile fighters. He is the most versatile heavyweight out there right now fighting PKA Karate. Um, there's a lot of heavyweights out there, and uh, Dennis is going to be fighting them all, but uh, tonight it was uh, uh, definitely uh, Alexio's night. But Dennis Alexio again on his stool, but Truman Urban ducked in and said, you got to take the skirt off. And here it comes off, and here he comes out to answer the bell in round two. Not happy about the turn of events. This is the first knockdown, Don. Okay, this was set up with the... Um, shot the body right there he's already hurt another one to the body he's going down and the kick just kind of uh finishes him left hook to the body started that and then you saw the accumulation of kicks another look from another angle of that over the top of that same knockdown you know this shows the experience of a fighter instead of being a head hunter dennis is banging the body up to the head bang to the body and now good finisher right there and down he goes. Came very close to getting a knee in the top of the head to Kimber. The last knockdown was the one that finally finished this after he beat the count there. That was caught a little bit on the side of the head. I think that stunned him some. He tried to fight back, but the end was near. And there it was. And actually, you can see that did not hit on a scoring area. That did not hit the face or the body, just the arms and... That was it for Kimber. Well, they may shake hands right now, but Kimber is out here in the second round. Let's get the official time of the stoppage. Here again is Jean-Paul Chartrand. Le gagnant par knockout à 1 minute 29 du deuxième round est toujours champion du monde incontesté de la PKA chez les poids lourds de kickboxing. The winner by knockout at 129 of the second round and still the undisputed PKA PKA heavyweight kickboxing champion of the world, Dennis the Terminator Alexio. No one had expected his fight to go the distance, and no one obviously will be disappointed to find out that Dennis Alexio ends it in two. And Don, you being the only man who has officially defeated this man, how much stronger is Dennis Alexio now than when you fought him, or was he the same type fighter that he was when you fought him to, in 18, 1984? He was the same fighter, but he was fighting at a lower weight class than uh, he is now. You know, we fought at super light heavyweight, and I believe that just made him a little weak when he fought me, but he's in his prime now. You know, this is not uh, the same Alexio that I fought 10 years ago. This is a heavier, stronger, more aggressive and confident Alexio. And, uh, Different fighter, different kind of champion. Did I hear you say amen along the way there somewhere? Well, you know, <laughs> there's still a lot of talk about unfinished business. Uh. Well, so.